JM Corporation Berhad is a construction company that formed in the year of 1983. IJM headquarters was located in Wisma IJM Section 7 Petaling Jaya. Thus, let's explore our milestone and see how it all began. The company was formed by the merger between the three medium-sized local construction which are IGP Construction, Muda Jaya and Juru Utama. In order to maintain the position as the country's biggest builder, IJM acquired the Road Builder Group in April 2007. IJM has successfully undertaken overseas venture in Orlando, USA, India, Singapore and Australia. Besides supporting the in-house needs, the industry has successfully grown the operation into scalable core activity which focus on catering the demand of the building materials by having a strategic acquisition of industrial concrete product Berhad in 2004. In Malaysia, IJM Corporation Berhad owns and operates the new Pantai Expressway, Best Raya and Lekas Expressway. The core business of activity of IJM encompasses the construction, property development, industry plantation, infrastructure, concessions, manufacturing and quarrying, which located in Malaysia, Middle East, India, Indonesia, Singapore and China. As the company vision is to become a leading Malaysia conglomerate in the market they serve, the company has received World Prestige Award and recognition for being the leading industry, corporate and community stewardship as well as for having a dynamic workplace culture. In developing the available opportunity through continuous improvement in efficiency, liability, and productivity, the IJM are led by an experienced board of directors and senior management teams. Moreover, all of the directors of the company maintain a clean record with regard to conviction for offences and none of them have any conflict of interest with the company as the team are controlled by the strong internal control which consists of risk management committee and internal audit. The IJM is also guided by a set of core values which are integrity, teamwork, innovation and customer focus as part of their corporate culture to ensure the long-term success of the company. Okay, now let's us move on to the classification of risk. The first one is the market risk. IJM Corporation Berhad classify market risk management as group businesses that resulted from the inherent cyclical nature of business, regulatory condition and economic condition. One of the market risks that the organization face is economic risk which can be explained as investment activities that were affected by the macroeconomic conditions such as exchange rate, government regulation and political stability that happen locally or globally. The economic risk faced by the IJM Corporation due to the trade wars between the United States and China the current economic climate of geopolitical tension and most recently because of the pandemic of COVID-19 which led to the massive slowdown in the local and global economy may affect the construction and industry division. Industry division performance was affected due to the decrease of the demand for the piles and quarry products and property division also having difficulties because of the subdued and saturated market because of the unsold property in Malaysia. In the financial year 2020, the core of the business industry division, which is the pretension span concrete, PSC piles and quarrying recorded low volumes and selling price lead to the fall in revenue. Recent movement control order imposed by the government due to the pandemic caused the cost towards the organization to increase in terms of port throughput and highway traffic volume. Thus, all the factors faced by the IGM Corporation effect 
the profitability, liquidity and cash flow. The moderate economic growth and uncertainty of domestic policies which arise from the political changes in Malaysia affected the replenishment of the construction order book for the IJM construction division in the short to medium term. The most affected division on the credit and liquidity risk is construction, property and industry divisions operation as this division required for the employees to present at the construction site in order to complete the project which is one of the factors contribute to the losses because of the movement restriction and lead to the postponement for the job to be complete. This can be seen from the marginal decline in revenue and profit before tax of IJM due to the lower construction progress compared to the previous year which is decreased by 1.4%. IJM Corporation is not excluded from facing usual issues in terms of the inadequate skill workforce as this is the common challenge faced by the other competitors in the same line of industry. The upstream operation of the plantation division carried out in Malaysia and Indonesia, which are well known for the largest palm oil producing countries, shows the importance of adequate number of employees because those operations require skilled workers to make the process correctly and efficiently. The inadequacy of the skilled workers will affect the activities process as every step requires specific knowledge and skills to carry out the operation such as seed production, field planting, upkeep and harvesting palm trees. IJM Corporation has faced the potential hazards such as fires, floods, earthquakes and the most recently is the pandemic COVID-19 which caused the widespread economic slowdown and affect the continuity of business operation and major equipment failures which will affect its growth and daily operation. Infrastructure division affected due to the pandemic as it involved activities of toll and port which is limited due to the restriction movement order imposed by the government. The toll roads are the most affected business activities as the highway traffic performance revenue decreased by 0.8%. And port activities also affected as the number of ships calling at Kuantan port slowed down due to the limited activities in main operation of infrastructure division. It leads to the losses compared to the previous year with the decrease of revenue by 4.2 percent. HM Corporation risk management is handled by the risk management committee to ensure that the corporate objective and strategies can be achieved within the acceptable risk appetite which the committee members has principally developed, executes and maintains the enterprise risk management of the organization. IJM Corporation also has confirmed with the international guidelines of the ISO 31000 and the Committee of Sponsoring Organization of Tradeway Commission, also known as COSO, Enterprise Risk Management Framework 2017, which shows the effort and commitment of the organization to follow the proper guidelines and regulation in managing the business activities. A risk map is prepared quarterly by each business unit which is done according to the risk management process as shown in the picture and it also covers all the IGM division of operation. New areas will be introduced for risk assessment when business risk profile change and the corporation strategy objective and overall risk appetite which are not addressed by the business unit will be considered and incorporates the risk associated by the IGM head office. Okay, now move forward to the risk assessment, risk cognition, and risk reacting together are part of risk assessment process. Risk assessment technique that has been adopted by IGM Corporation Berhad is inspection and audit. An audit ensures the company verification and balance of compliance with the systems and procedures established. In IGM Corporation, all business units carry out their risk assessment risk management and mitigation action including internal control system assessment. The group does form a basis of opinion based on the analysis of 
the current situation. Therefore, the board is pleased to note that the group system of risk management and internal control has overall been rated as satisfactory, adequate, and effective. Inspection and audit are best suited to hazard risk as all the departments will perform physical inspection of premises and activities and audits of companies with established system and procedures. Then we move forward to the response and methods strategy adopted by AJM Corporation. AJM Corporation responds to the issues that causes the risk to the company through mitigation. In suddenly the economic risk, the group continues to monitor foreign owned market risk while continually seeking local and other international opportunities to replenish orders, diversify business and increase earnings. For the credit and liquidity, the group minimizes the exposure in keeping leverage at a comfortable level and ongoing financial planning taking place. In the form of inadequately skilled workers, the group has implemented various remuneration and welfare schemes to attract and keep its employees in order not to recur not to re in order not to recur, AGM Corporation remains confident and optimistic that long-term sustainability strategy are being implemented to ensure they remain constantly up to date on a more strategic approach in the future years in ensuring this problem does not occur again. IJM Corporation was applied to the International Guideline ISO 31000 and the Corporate Risk Management Framework 2017 of the Committee of Sponsoring Organization of the Treadway Commission. The Risk Management Committee generally develop, implement and maintain an entire enterprise risk management system to ensure that the group has a group of a good appetite for the risk of its corporate goals and strategies. Secondly, risk management review cover the response to identify significant risk that would ensure corporate strategy and business objective, if the effectiveness and efficiency of operation, the integrity of information and reporting and compliance with relevant legis legislation, regulation, policy and procedure. The head office of the group also consider and incorporate the risk associated with the group strategy objective and the overall risk appetite that are not addressed by the respective business unit, consolidate major risk and mitigate action and reported to the RMC before being presented to the audit committee and the board on a quarterly basis. By adopting that model, the integrated framework addressed the evaluation of corporate risk management and the need for organization to improve their risk management approach to meet the demand of an evolving business environment. It ensures a structured risk management process that includes risk identification, risk analysis, risk evaluation and risk treatment are being implemented throughout the group. The risk management community support risk analyzing, reporting, and the cultivation of the risk culture of the company. In the execution of consistent planned risk management activity, the RMC also acts as a driver in all business units. Risk management community also manage all the group operational risk in compliance with the company guideline. The risk management community monitor the risk activities at the power station. Therefore, the company can monitor its risk management by complying with the requirement of ISO. The risk governance model adopted by the IJM Corporation Berhad is Malaysia Code on Corporate Governance 2017. It can be seen firstly in which the board establish effective risk management and internal control framework. The board must ensure an adequate risk management framework is implemented which identify, assess, manage and track significant financial and non-financial risk. Furthermore, they need continuous review process, responsibilities and assess risk within the group risk appetite and tolerable range for reasonable assurance. Effective of the board in handling risk management and internal control framework is important to safeguard the shareholder investment, other stakeholder interests and assets of the group. 
for example, for the financial year 2020, the Board and Audit Committee obtained assurance from CEO, Managing Director and Chief Financial Officer that the group risk management and internal control system work efficiently and effectively in all aspects based on the risk management and internal control framework. Secondly, is the audit community. The audit community is responsible for monitoring the group risk management process, obtaining assurance on the adequacy and efficiency of the risk management and internal control system. This is where they will review internal and external audit in order to give independent recommendations for risk and to ensure the procedure and policy regulated by the group is properly conducted in accordance with corporate governance standards. The audit committee also need to be well informed about the risk mapping, how the risk is appropriately measured, evaluated and assessed. For example, the audit committee review the risk management committee report, evaluate the adequacy and feasibility of the risk management system and the appropriate management response to key risk area and suggest recommendation for improvement. Third, the risk management community. To ensure a proper risk management, RMC is responsible for overseeing and regularly reviewing the group business and operation of risk management process. Besides, they need to ensure that the corporate objective and strategy of the group are achieved within the group acceptable risk. Appetite. This can be seen through RMC develop, execute and maintain an enterprise-wide risk management system. Next, RMC perform its function by review, analyze and evaluate the control and action in place to minimize and manage the group risk exposure as well as rising concern and recommend preventive action. For example, RMC report to the audit committee on a quarterly basis and as part of its monitoring activities to ensure key risks are deliberated and mitigation action are implemented. Last but not least is the Internal Audit Department. According to the Internal Audit Chartered Guideline, IAD carry four main functions in performing their roles and responsibility. The first is assess and report on the effectiveness of the control system design and operation for risk evaluation and management. Second, assess and report on the efficiency of management action or decision to resolve shortcoming in the control system. Third, investigate and report on case of suspected employee fraud and malpractice. Fourth, conduct strategic consultancy service for management. The function of IAD is important as they offer reasonable assurance to the board and management on the efficiency and adequacy of the group internal control system to handle the market risk and protect the group asset and resources. For example, IAD, IAD provide an internal audit plan for the year 2020 until 2021 which carried the list of audit engagements such as risk assessment procedure to be conducted in upcoming year. Next, for the improvement that can be used for IJM Corporation Berhad is OECD Principles of Corporate Governance. OECD stands for Organizational for Economic Cooperation and Development. OECD is an international organization in helping the government to tackle economic, social and governance challenges in the global economies. There are six key principles underlying within the OECD such as effective corporate governance framework, rights and equitable treatment of shareholders, institutional investors, stock market and other intermediaries, rules of stakeholders in the corporate governance, disclosure of transparency and responsibilities of the board itself. All these underlying principles interconnected with the risk management, it can simply be translated in the context of risk appetite and how the organization responds toward the risk. It is important for an organization to identify, assess and control the risk as their risk management. Therefore, the organization can respond to the risk either in the forms of mitigation, avoidance or acceptance. As AJM Corporation Berhad are conforms with international practices and guidelines of ISO and COSO 
Enterprise Framework 2017 that covered responses to significant risks that have been identified. Hence, IJM can include OECD by applying and practicing the principles in the group's risk management as it would help and improve the quality of corporate governance. In conclusion, risk assessment in business is the preeminent way to prepare for eventualities that may come along the way in the business progress and growth. Attempting to control as much as possible future outcomes by acting proactively rather than reactively. Having a good risk management can reduce both the possibilities of risk occurring and the potential impact. Risk management plays crucial roles in identifying, assessing and controlling risks that need to be reviewed in order to achieve firm's objective in the future. Benefits of having good risk management that would calculate all possibilities and uncertainties and predict their operation on the business. It can be seen when IGM Corporation Berhad develops, executes and maintains a broadened risk management system to ensure the group's corporate strategy can be achieved. They align with inter international guidelines of ISO and the Committee of Sponsoring Organization of Tradeway Commission of 2017.